If you use your iPad even half as much as I do, you need to see this. Apple Notes has quietly become one of the most powerful apps in the entire Apple ecosystem. It's no longer just for grocery lists or random thoughts. It can replace your planner, your to-do app and even parts of Notion or GoodNotes when you use it right. Today, I'm sharing 10 Apple Notes tips that will completely upgrade how you take notes, organize ideas and stay creative on your iPad. And instead of just listing features, I'll show you exactly how I use each of these in my own workflow from YouTube scripts and travel planning to quick sketches and journaling. Grab your iPad and pencil. By the end of this video, you'll see your Apple Notes totally different. Let's jump right in. First up, Smart Folders. This is one of my favorite features because it keeps everything organized automatically. Instead of manually sorting notes, you can create folders that automatically collect notes based on tags. For example, I use tags like hashtag YouTube, hashtag ideas and hashtag scripts. Whenever I create a new note and type one of these tags, it instantly appears in the right smart folder. To set it up, tap the new folder icon, give it a name, select make into smart folder select tag and choose any selected tag. Choose the tags from the list or add tag by clicking on the plus icon. Choose the tags that you want to include. Now every note with those tags will automatically land here. I personally use this for my YouTube workflow. I have one smart folder that pulls every note that is tagged with hashtag video idea. So I can quickly scroll through all my brainstorms in one place. Okay, the next one is honestly amazing. Linking notes. Apple quietly added the ability to create hyperlinks between notes. It's a total game changer for organization. You can now link one note directly inside another. For example, I have a note where I list all my video ideas. When I start writing the script or when I do research for one of those topics, I link that script note right next to the idea. It's like building my own little index. Everything stays connected. I even link assets or b-roll references so I can quickly jump between related notes without hunting for them later. Here's how to do it. Just add double chevron and you will see a list of your recent notes. If you already know the name of the notes that you want to link, just start typing and select it. Boom, it's linked instantly. You can also use for journaling, link daily entries together or connect your goal notes to your progress tracker. Next, quick notes. If you're not using this yet, you're seriously missing out on one of the most iPad's underrated features. Just swipe diagonally from the bottom right corner of your screen and you will see a floating notes window appear. You can start jotting down something instantly or tap here to create a brand new quick note. Here's a pro tip. Tap the three dots and you will see an option to add a screenshot. I use this all the time. Whenever I'm browsing, planning a birthday or comparing products, I'll swipe to open quick note, grab a screenshot and start working around it. You can even share the note directly from here. And to see all your quick notes, just tap right here or you can open the main notes app and find them under the quick notes section. The best part, it works no matter what app you are in. So if you're in Safari, watching a video or scrolling through Pinterest, you can capture ideas instantly without switching apps. Okay, tip number four, the scan and text recognition feature. Your iPad's camera isn't just for selfies. It can actually digitalize your documents right inside notes. Open a new note, click on the attach symbol, select scan document. But here's the cool part. You get more options to further tweak it. Turn on flash if needed, filter options like photocopy, black and white, grayscale or color. I like to set it to color. Select auto shutter so it recognizes the document and scans it automatically or manual if that's your preference and then save it. 
Now you can open the document in the notes and annotate it from here. But there's the genius part. Notes recognizes the text inside the scan. So if you search for a word that's printed on that document, Notes will find it. Yep, it's searchable. I use this for receipts, YouTube brand contracts and school forms. I just scan them, tag with hashtag documents and boom, all searchable, no clutter. Before we move on, I want to talk about the new Opera Neon, an agentic browser built from the ground up to supercharge your productivity. This portion of the video is kindly sponsored by Opera Neon, the premium agentic browser built for the future. Opera Neon isn't just another browser with an AI added on, it's built around AI in the most natural way possible. Of course, it's a fantastic browser on its own, clean UI, deep customization, solid extension support, all the basics done right. But what truly sets it apart is how deeply AI is woven into its core, transforming how you work and browse. Let me show you four quick use cases that honestly blew me away. First, look at the tabs up top. With each tab, you can actually create multiple pages underneath. For example, I'm researching Airbnb homes. So I have one tab for Airbnb and several pages under it for each option. Now, when I click the AI button on the sidebar, Neon instantly recognizes the six Airbnb listings I have opened in the tab. I can simply say, compare the features of these six homes and give me a price table. Neon analyzes all the pages, pulls the relevant details, creates a summary and delivers the comparison, all without interrupting my workflow. You can, of course, open a new tab to chat with AI and ask anything you want. That's just the cherry on top. But it goes far beyond summarization. Opera Neon can actually do things for you. Watch this. I'll select Neon Do and say, find the cheapest three-star hotel in Lower Manhattan with availability for December 15th and 16th. Good reviews and walking distance to metro stations. Neon takes over, browses the web and finds exactly what I asked for. All I have to do is check out and reserve. You can ask Neon to shop for you, order fill long forms, find deals and much more. Okay, one more. Let's talk about Make. Opera Neon's feature that lets you instantly create websites, tools or designs from a simple prompt. For instance, I want a landing page for my weekly newsletter, so I asked Neon Make to build it. And within minutes, it generated a professional looking page that's honestly better than what I would have designed myself. And since this is Opera, it naturally includes all the essentials, built-in ad blocker, VPN, bookmarks and sidebar integration. Join the waitlist to try Opera Neon, the premium agentic browser built for the future. So this one is honestly my most favorite because it involves art and it's really fun. Whenever you're jotting down a note like a recipe or a class note, use the image playground wand and it generates an image for you. It instantly makes your notes look so much fun and interesting and I love it. Here are some examples. To do this, just tap the wand icon in the toolbar, then circle an area on your page, type what you want, hit enter and you get your generated image. You can also change the style into animation, illustration, sketch and you can swipe through different versions here. It's honestly so much fun. Try it out next time you're taking your notes. Another tip, when you draw something, especially shapes or lines with your Apple Pencil, just draw it and pause for two seconds at the end. The iPad automatically converts it into a perfect shape, a straight line, a clean circle, whatever you're trying to draw. You can try it with almost any simple shape. It's perfect for making visual notes without breaking your writing flow. 
This one's quick but super useful. Pinning and locking notes. Pinning keeps your most important notes right at the top of your list. Just swipe right on any note and tap the pin icon. I keep my content calendar and daily tasks pinned so I don't have to scroll through every day. Now, for private stuff, you can lock notes with Face ID or your password. Tap the three dots, lock, and that note becomes private. You can also long press a note and pin or lock the notes from here too. I use this for passwords, content deals, and personal reflections, but I would always recommend using a passwords app. Now, let's talk about collaboration in Apple Notes because this feature is so much underrated. You can invite someone to work with you on the same note in real time, which is perfect for group projects, planning trips, or even coordinating events. Just create a new note or open an existing one and tap the share icon. Choose collaborate and then share it with as many people as you want. When they open the note and start editing, you will see their changes happen right there in real time. You can also tap the collaborator icon to see everyone who is on the note. And when you tap on each person's name, their edits get highlighted. Super useful when you want to track who added what. Or you can just simply swipe the note to the right to see who edited it and when they edited it. It's super cool. And Apple recently added mentions so you can tag someone using at inside the note. They'll get a notification instantly. So if I update our itinerary, I can write something like at Gautam, check this restaurant and he sees it right away. This next one will make your notes look so much cleaner with proper formatting. Apple Notes has formats like headings, bullet list, checklist, or color highlights. Just select your text, tap the AA icon, and you can turn it into a title, heading, subheading, body, or more. You can even highlight in different colors, add bullet lists, numbered list, checklist, or add just margins, all of which make your notes easier to read and way more aesthetic. If you love visual structure, formatting alone will make your notes feel 10 times more organized. Now, the writing tools take this even further. Powered by Apple Intelligence plus ChatGPT, they let you rewrite your text to be friendly, professional, concise, or expand or shorten it. You can instantly turn anything into a summary, key points, a list, a table, or fix grammar with one tap. You can even generate new content from scratch, like write an email about how AI affects our lives. Create a packing list for Miami. Notes will create the whole thing right there. Apple Notes isn't just text, it's multimedia. You can drag and drop almost anything into notes, photos, videos, links, even full PDFs. When I'm working on product reviews, I drop screenshots, reference images, and my links into one place. It becomes a complete project hub. You can also preview links inline, meaning you will see a thumbnail and description right inside your note. It's so clean and visual. If you're a student or a researcher, you can attach full PDFs, then annotate directly on them using your Apple Pencil. For example, I attach press releases, mark them up and summarize key points below them. No need to open a separate app. This last one is super handy, especially if you write a lot or use tools outside the Apple ecosystem. Export as Markdown. Markdown is basically a clean, lightweight format that works everywhere in Notion, Obsidian, WordPress, or even your website backend. And Apple Notes now lets you export your notes directly in Markdown with perfect formatting. All you have to do is open your note, tap share and choose export as Markdown. That's it. Your headings, bullet points, checklists, image, everything transfers over neatly. 
I use this when I'm moving my YouTube scripts into Notion or when I want to share notes with someone without losing formatting. If you work across apps or you like keeping backups of your notes, exporting as Markdown is a total lifesaver. And that's it. 10 genius Apple Notes tips that will completely change how you use your iPad. Honestly, Notes has evolved from being a simple app to a productivity powerhouse. Once you start combining smart folders, quick notes and tags, it's hard to go back to anything else. If you learned something new today, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And comment below which of these tips you are already using or plan to try next. I love hearing how you all use Apple Notes differently. Also subscribe if you want more iPad and Apple ecosystem tips. I've got some really fun ones coming next week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.